So what is CBD? Um, so CBD is, well, it's funny. The word CBD stands for cannabidiol. And then that's what the media is picking up as the medical part of the cannabis plant. And when I say cannabis plant, it's a family of plants. There's the marijuana plant, which is illegal and comes with a lot of THC. And then there's the hemp plant, which is, has a lot of cannabinoids. And CBD is just one of those cannabinoids. See, there's actually a ton of cannabinoids. And the best part of a cannabinoid-rich hemp oil is having a plethora or many of the cannabinoids. And it causes what's called an entourage effect, which means all those cannabinoids work together to make your endocannabinoid system, which is a series of receptors throughout your body that those cannabinoids can bind to. And when they bind to them, it actually makes the other systems of your body work better. So hemp doesn't necessarily do any one thing for any one person. It really just brings their body to the middle or homeostasis. So for example, if you were, say, anxious, it would calm you down. But if you were tired all the time, it would give you energy. It really just helps your own body systems function at their optimum levels. So will this get you high or... Um, so the aspect of the psychoactive is comes from the THC. That is in minuscule amounts in the hemp plant and much more abundant amounts in the marijuana plant. Um, so a hemp industrial hemp product can actually have 0.3 THC or less. We choose to go through the extra step, which is called reverse chromatography, to remove just the THC. So our product actually has all the other naturally occurring cannabinoids and terpenes found in, in the hemp plant. The only thing it doesn't have is the THC, because we find it basically makes you tired, and a lot of athletes are concerned because they get tested for THC, whereas all the other cannabinoids are the medical part that actually uh, doesn't get tested for, and there's no issue. So yes, there's no high with any of our products. Um, what you're thinking is more of the marijuana plant. So what is that system again? Uh, the endocannabinoid system? Yes. So it's one of the systems of your body. It's an offshoot of the endocrine system or the hormone system. So hormones regulate the other systems of your body, and that's exactly what this system does. The endocannabinoid system is a series of receptors, and cannabinoids, which naturally occur in plants, but also naturally occur within your own body. The ones that you make are called endocannabinoids, and they bind to the receptors. And when they bind, they make the other systems function better or optimally. So what happens is some people are deficient or don't make enough naturally of their own endocannabinoids. So what you can do is you can take an exogenous source or an outside source. We get our cannabinoids from the hemp plant, or more specifically, the industrial hemp plant because it's extremely high in the beneficial cannabinoids, such as CBD, CBC, CBG, CBN, all of them. And when you put them all together, you get an honorage effect. And that effect is that each cannabinoid makes the other cannabinoids work better. And then, like I said, the only cannabinoid we prefer to take out is THC. Have you used cannabinoids before? I've heard CBD helps with anxiety, is that true? Yeah, one of our main products is actually the tincture. Um, people either use hemp topically for inflammation or pain, or they'll actually ingest it either through vaporization or a tincture that absorbs under your tongue uh, sublingually. A full dose is actually one full dropper, and that's done throughout the day. I recommend you break that up into two doses, half of a dropper once a day, and then at night again. Um, other people actually choose to take just a few drops throughout the day, and then that way they have more of a smooth, the cannabinoids stay in their bloodstream the whole time. But let me show. So sublingually, it absorbs under your tongue. And then you just let that sit for a couple of seconds. Would you like to try? Sure. So this is 0.5 milliliters, which is half of the daily dose. And that goes right under your tongue here. Good. Let that sit for about 30 seconds under your tongue. And what that will do is it'll absorb right into your bloodstream and then that will start to bind your endocannabinoid system. So in about 10 to 15 minutes, you'll feel very calm. But more importantly than that, all of the systems of your body will be increased. Besides stress relief, a lot of people use it for the other systems of their body. So people with digestive issues will be on hemp, people with mood disorders, anxiety, insomnia, depression. Uh, hemp can also be used just for overall wellness, and I would say that's probably the most common. For example, a lot of athletes use it for muscle recovery, and it can actually be used right after your workout. A lot of people think to use it when they're sore, which it's great for, but if you use it after your workout, you just won't get sore. 
For example, yesterday it snowed. A lot of people are sore today from all the shoveling. If they had taken this after they shoveled last night, they wouldn't have been sore today. So there's a lot of CBD on the market. How do I know which is best? Um, so that's, again, what I was kind of saying. CBD products is a little bit of a misnomer because CBD is just one cannabinoid. So a lot of products on the market just use CBD. They only use one cannabinoid versus using all the cannabinoids. Uh, when we talk about using all the cannabinoids, we call that full spectrum, um, which means it has CBD, CBA, CBG, CBC, CBN. The only cannabinoid we find not as necessary is THC because that causes a psychoactive effect that we don't want because we're trying to invoke calm and help with anxiety and stress, whereas THC can actually agitate you and some people get paranoid from it. So we remove all trace. But what we actually use is not isolate. Isolate is CBD by itself. We use distillate hemp, which is when you basically take the hemp plant and refine it as little as possible to get a cannabinoid rich hemp oil. And we find that actually works the best. So we really prefer not only a hemp distillate that's been unrefined as possible, there's a smaller molecule called terpenes. Terpenes are interesting because they actually can modulate what that cannabinoid profile does. So it's not just about taking a bunch of cannabinoids. You have to make sure that you have the phytochemicals or the small chemicals in there that actually control what it does. Kind of like oranges, they contain vitamin C, and that's what everyone deems the healthy part of oranges. But actually, there's a ton of bioflavonoids inside of the orange that make the vitamin C do what it's supposed to do inside of the body. So it's not enough to just extract something like CBD and take a product just that's pure CBD or vitamin C. You want to make sure you have those phytochemicals inside of your plant so that that active ingredient does everything it's supposed to do, and lives up to its full potential. The terpene profile we choose to use, we remove any of the agitating terpenes, and we leave in just the ones that promote calmness and help with anxiety.